So the Castle family purchased this home in 1956. Um, and they are a family from Tennessee. So they're not originally from New Orleans. The dad, Johnny Castle, who, this was his room right here that you all were eating food in. That was your bedroom. <laughs> uh, you all literally sat where the bed was. And these folks, Johnny Castle and Virgin Castle, are so special because how many of our parents are going to give up our bed for James Baldwin or Stokely Carmichael or Lena Horne or Harry Belafonte? They literally would give up their bed when these folks came to the town, and that's where um, Baldwin would sleep. Um, this was the parents' bedroom. Um, this is our guest room, so make sure you sign it before you leave. This is Doris Castle being carried out of City Hall, um, the City Hall here in New Orleans being carried out um, the segregating it. So Johnny Castle is Doris's brother. Um, he's the last of the siblings from Virgie and Johnny B. Castle who's still living. Um, these are original blankets that Freedom Riders left on. After Hurricane Katrina, he came here and he got the original, um, some of the original furniture items and some of the original bedding and um, dish sets and like the tapestry from the James Baldwin photo that's in that photo, the image on the wall. He collected those items and brought it to Atlanta where he lives. He actually lives in Stone Mountain in Georgia. And in March, he donated those to Friends of the Freedom House, to the nonprofit. So it's almost like these original items. I have been coming back home this year. I've made two U-Haul trips to Georgia this year to bring these items back. The blankets are our big piece of the story, um, Dodie came, you know, this was the 60th, um, um, remember, how do you say it? Memory of the March on Washington. Yeah. She came here with a reporter and she actually showed us how to make a pallet because they would sleep in the kitchen. They would sleep in the kitchen and they would sleep under the table, uh, five or six of them. So she showed us that it was a science to how they all with six people not only did they do show me how they were doing it. <laughs> and she literally <laughs> did that so I could show young people, you know. Okay, I want to touch all of it. So this is one of the most precious items I feel like we have here. It's the original kitchen table, um, which has found its way back home. I love it because I feel like it's just so historic. Um, and I love it because there's some audio recorders at Amistad. Um, mm. of different civil rights leaders. One is of Doris Castle. Um, she's talking about how she's sitting at the table and her sister gives birth to their child, her child, right, her first child right in the bathroom here. Um, so yeah, there's so many people, so many things, so many, I mean, Freedom Writers left right here on this floor. Mm. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, they were cooking that good food that they were talking about. Bernie Castle was an amazing chef. And I'm so excited. Another trip I'm making to Georgia is her original pots and pans are coming back. Because we want to, like, you know, as we develop this museum, we want to tell all these stories. Uh, so we'll be able to use these actual items, right, that she used to cook. We'll be back outside. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, my such a nice little back area. Yeah, and Johnny um, B, the dad would sit right here on these steps. And late, so late nights, he would come in because he was a longshoreman and also a cab, uh, taxi cab driver. He would sit right where you're sitting and he would talk to you. <laughs> and he would talk to Jerome Smith because Big Duck lives in this back house. So some things we're excited about is we're getting a mural down here. It'll be right here on this um, brick wall. Big that told a story about safe houses in the South and how pivotal they were. Mm -hmm. uh, because these Freedom Riders, they, they needed a safe place to stay during the Freedom Ride in 1961. So he talked about this safe house in Mississippi. And an uh, artist from Big Duck's memory, he lost his picture in Hurricane Katrina. We're in the middle of drawing up the composition. So that's why it's like 50% done, because we raised 50% of the funds during Give Nola Day. <laughs> but um, the only thing we're missing is a white woman in this image. She was raising her hand up and down, up and down. You know why? Wow. She's in the fields, the safe house is in the back of her. She's their safe house for the night. Mm -hmm. And she's trying to get their attention, you know? Mm -hmm. But it's so dangerous to be like a safe house owner and to be the keeper of the safe house. 
she has to be careful that no KKK members are seeing her while she's doing this. Mm -hmm. uh,